Jada's about to get some shoes that she's been wanting for a while. I don't even know what these are, so I, how you know if I wanted them? No comment. So, mommy, hold the camera. I don't, I don't or are you going to go get the bag? Is it, um, does the stove still smoke? No. What was the problem? What are you talking about? When the stove used to smoke? It's called you not lining it and putting stuff in here. Did you guys know that mannequins can gain weight? Says that one holding the camera. Mannequins can gain weight. Mannequins can eat Thanksgiving dinner and everything. I was just saying they're heavy now because our strength which is low. Wow. Which pair? Which pair? Uh. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I can't wear more than one pair. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I can't wear more than one pair. Which pair do you think I should get? Jesus. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Just blinking. You're the one who told me. Oh, wait till you see these shoes. Mommy got you. Remember you told me the other day? You the real ones? No. Does that matter? No. So you actually pay attention. I mean, listen. Yeah, I do. Pay attention. Yeah. You get the braids tomorrow, right? I was, I'm gonna suggest this. Don't wear them when it's when it looks like it's gonna rain. I don't wear Uggs when it rains. Jenna, you tend to wear stuff. Yes, you do. Oh my God. Yes, you do. Don't debate. I'll take them back. Do you like them? I love them. Good. Because I know you were like, I want the boy version Uggs. I really want them so bad. And remember, I told you yesterday, I was like, it's a shoe you thought you probably wouldn't get. Turn one. That was the last one. Now. They didn't have a whole selection. Where are you going? Oh. Oh, I find it is too loud. I'm going to go to When you straighten this kitchen up, then it's your kitchen day, right? Yeah. I don't clean on Sundays. Uh, yes, you do. Not the past two weeks I have. Uh, but if you follow this, you do. You do that kitchen on uh, Sunday. Yeah, you do. You do it on okay, Sunday and Monday. I got it. Sunday and Monday. What? Uh, yeah. Monday. Why did you make the schedule? Monday. Who cleans the kitchen two days? What? When I clean the bathroom two days in a row. That's different. That's the bathroom. It looks good on your feet, Jada. Your white socks? Yeah, my white socks. They stay in season. Yeah, you need pollution on. The legs will get ashy regardless. No, Jasmine showed me some ashy ass legs the other day. Do they fit? That's the question. Don't yeah. say they fit and then they're going to be too small. I feel it. Mom cooking. I don't know. Let me feel. What does touching a toe going to do? Where is your, is that your toe? Yeah. You're counting down? Yeah. How's it 29 days and we're not even in the month of December yet? Or 30 something. Uh-huh. It's probably like 30. Right. It's probably like 31. Days. I don't think it's 31. How many days is it now, November? 30. 30. Oh, it's probably like 36. Somebody's birthday is coming up on November 30th. Y'all, it is Wednesday morning and it is 7.50 a.m. And I'm going to tell y'all what I'm about to do. I'm going to have to go back to sleep until 9 o'clock, okay? Uh, but before I did that, while I was on my way back home, y'all, just like some of y'all, y'all listen to me or watch uh, the, the vlogs. 
you know, during the time that you're getting up and getting dressed in the morning or deglamming in the evening or on lunch breaks, you know, y'all know what I'm saying, right? Your girl does that too. Now, I have a very select few vloggers that I watch and YouTube channels, period, that I watch, okay? Just due to the fact that, for one, I want to stay true to myself and I don't want to, I guess, you know, creep anybody's style of vlogging, which, I mean, I guess there's no uh, patent on your vlogging style because, as y'all can see, mine switches up. You know, some days it's days that you guys just get clips like this or there's days that sometimes you get narration because I got to explain some stuff. You feel me? So today I was coming back from the bus station and I decided to listen to uh, some people who showed up on my home screen that I'm subscribed to. And y'all, I'm going to say this. What is up with like youtube beef youtube drama youtube <sighs> a lot of people started watching youtube this is just me now i ain't speaking on everybody i'm just saying me a lot of people started <coughs> watching youtube in replacement of everyday TV because a lot of people no longer like all the reality TV shows and you know all the stuff that goes on on there it's just drama filled drama packed lots of fighting lots of cattiness lots of all of that and I've been thinking about this for the past couple of days okay yet after watching and catching up on some of the people that I watch and then Jasmine's like introducing me to some new people that she watches. Uh, I'm going to just tell y'all this. Uh, some of it is just too much. And what do I mean by too much? It's like reality TV then shifted from uh, regular TV you know, network TV to now YouTube. And y'all, I'm talking about to the point that people is plotting, making plots, creating storylines. And they saying that it's their life, but yet it's fake. And yet, you know, it's, it's just bad, okay? I just want to say this. YouTube beef. Like, why? Like, why are you beefing with another YouTuber? Like, I'm going to tell you, I was having this conversation with Jasmine on the way there. And I watched a video last night, y'all. video was over an hour long. And I had to keep stopping and coming back to it. Or y'all, when I got those vlogs yesterday, okay? Yet, all I got out of it was, it just makes it really hard for you to want to befriend somebody from YouTube. It makes it hard to trust people from YouTube because everything is about exposing people. And you know, I'm not saying the video that I watched was bad because the shit was funny. It was funny, but by the time it got to the end, it just got, it just got redundant. And it was redundant to the point that, why? 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 It just really, really makes you very cautious of wanting to befriend someone on YouTube. And thank God that the select few people that I have befriended from YouTube, um, I haven't had any issues with them. And the reason being, and I'm, and the reason I can be so like straightforward, honest with this, I mean, they're talking to me about some very very personal stuff and you know clearly you must trust me if you are talking to me about your very personal personal stuff to you already know stuff ain't about that life i'm not because i believe karma is a bitch and what you do unto others will come back and bite you in the ass sooner sometimes later down in your life and i'm not all for owing karma back you feel me i don't want no debt with karma uh i don't need karma I got people calling me uh collect trying to collect okay nah karma can stay her ass where she at because 
Stephanie don't roll like that. So to me, for all of this, like, this drama, this, this tea, this coffee, cocoa, uh, lattes and shit that people be spilling, it's just like, why? Why? I'm sorry, but I am all about uplifting, encouraging, and being positive. And yes, everything in life ain't going to always be like happy-go-lucky. It's just not. Because that ain't real life. Real life, you're going to have your ups and downs. Real life, you're going to be happy. Real life means that there is just no way that you can just have that much drama in your life. I mean... Am I wrong for saying that? Is real life like everybody have like just everyday drama? Well, I guess if you're somebody who attracts drama, I guess so. But that ain't me. That's not my attraction. That's not, I told y'all, that's not how I want to be remembered. That's not part of my legacy. So, you know, to me, the friends that I have created and made on YouTube, I love y'all. Y'all are like a part of my extended family. Uh, thank you for trusting me enough with your info or your feelings or your heart because it's hard out here. It is hard. And Jazz was just like, Mommy, I already have trust issues when it comes to other people. So she was like, you're right. It does make it hard to want to befriend other YouTubers. Hmm. Interesting, right? When I get back up and while I'm getting dressed, I'm going to tell y'all some of my favorite YouTubers. And y'all, I'm going to call their names. Because to me, what they bring to my everyday life is positivity it's about women empowerment it's about you know get on your grind stay on your grind and just be about yours you know be about your money be about you be about your life it's about bettering and i'm sorry but those are people i watch i watch people who are even though i'm a grown-ass woman it ain't nothing wrong with getting better every day like a fine wine, y'all. Age, 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 age. Age ain't got nothing to do with it. But I'm going to age like a fine wine. You feel me? And that doesn't necessarily just always mean on the exterior, but also the interior. You feel me? So let me get my nap in before I got to be up in an hour and a half. And um, I will ch chat back with y'all then and... We'll talk about some of my faves and why I like them. And like I said, I'm going to actually shout them out. Not for views, not for them to give me another shout out, just because I like them. And I like them for what they genuinely bring to the YouTube game. Okay? Alright y'all, a new uh, story time vlog is going up. It's called I Faced My Fears. So y'all be on the lookout for that tonight. Well, it'll go up probably before this vlog does. So now I need to get dressed like pronto. Every time y'all see me getting dressed for work, I'm rushing, right? Always. So, ooh, where's my blush? Oh, okay. All right, so before I get started, I need to go run upstairs because I need to get my watch i'm a chick that gets dressed but i have to watch the clock while i get dressed that puts me i don't know in some type of frenzy that you need to move y'all i've made it to work by the grace of god i got a ticket today i'll have to explain to y'all later when i go on my break but your girl is here i arrived alive wasn't speeding like a crazy woman or anything like that and i think one of y'all had had said to me in the comments that y'all wanted me to be safe driving so y'all not see me vlogging in the car unless i'm parked or unless um oh crap this better be mr long okay no y'all it's my sister ashley hello Hey, Steph. What's up? How did you um... All right, y'all. Told y'all I'd be back. Sorry I didn't make it back for the break. However, y'all, I was a little distraught. 
okay y'all already know i told y'all i almost got a ticket today because this the damn bank can't seem to get me my title to the motor vehicle uh place here in jersey so tomorrow mr long is on it rocky sit down sit sit tell the buddy he's so hard-headed so hard-headed Anywho, you see how hard headed he is? You're not coming up here. No, you did that last week. We ain't doing that this week. So, what was I saying? Y'all, I almost caught a ticket on the way coming to work. And the reason being is just due to the fact that the popo was behind me before I even got on the parkway. So, clearly, he saw my plates. Still was Georgia. And today is the last day of November. So, when he pulled me over, he was just asking license and registration. I'm like, I cannot produce that registration for you right now just due to the fact that I'm having issues with my bank getting my title over to the motor vehicle uh administration here in new jersey so thank god that he was former military and he understands when you're moving and you're trying to move all this stuff it can just get really really hectic y'all and we've been going at this since october 15th okay so it ain't like we some slackers or some slugs okay no we stay on our ish it's just that uh chase bank ain't staying on theirs you sent us a copy of the doggone title and the DMV did not want that. They want the original. So y'all know how that shit go. Thank God he was understanding. That's all I'm thankful for because he could have wrote me a ticket. <sighs> Thank God he did. So this was a day y'all where you don't be all snappy and like trying to be in your feelings. Like why you put me over. You just be cooperative. You answer questions and you just tell the story and tell him the truth. Okay. And that was the truth. So hopefully I'll be telling y'all tomorrow. I got my stuff squared away and I ain't driving dirty no more. You feel me? Anywho, y'all. For those or for the subscriber that had said that she was concerned about my safety when I am driving and vlogging, girl, I took you up on your idea and you are absolutely right because I will rag somebody, especially when it comes to their kids not being in seat belts and car seats and stuff like that. And yes, my safety is important. I'm pretty sure y'all ain't trying to get, you know, the tea or y'all trying to have me vlogging while driving unless I'm doing it the safe way. So. I'm gonna let you know, girl. I did order me a car dashboard mount and it will be here tomorrow. So, my car vlogs should be lit now, okay? Because I'm gonna be doing it the right way. So, I'm about to be all the way legit. So, y'all ain't got to be worrying about it, stuff being safe, okay? But thank you, girl, for looking out for me because you are absolutely right. Moving on. Earlier, I was talking to y'all about why do YouTubers create beef now this is all i'm gonna say about that sometimes you have to question why are you on youtube i told you all my reasons why i'm on youtube and it's to share my story share my journey and you know what if i can help somebody through my story through my testimony and through my experiences why not okay however it has become like this trend to have YouTube beef. Y'all ain't got YouTube beef with nobody. There is nobody that I can tell y'all I just like absolutely cannot stand. Nobody. This is my thing. Like I said to y'all earlier, I'm picky about who I watch. I'm picky about who I let enter my dome okay because let's face it once you watch stuff you know it kind of attaches itself to you so if you watch negativity if you watch drama guess what it's gonna attach itself to you and why put that stuff on you like really like who wants that not i so this is how i wanted to flip that okay i'm a woman who i like to attach myself to other women well, I can't say men, okay? I just can't say that because, you know, I'm attached to one. Yet, there aren't any male vloggers or male YouTubers that, like, I actually watch just due to the fact that 
that's that's not what i'm interested in okay but there are some female ones that i am like really like motivated they inspire me and you know what it's like you're you're getting a little piece of the life that they're living and some of the people that i watch i don't think it's like made up fluff fluff frou frou stuff okay i really think that these are these people lives and i would hope so i would think that they would be real and be true so in order for you guys to check some of them out i concocted a list okay and this is my list first on my list is desi perkins <sighs> y'all i love desi i love everything she represents i've watched her like her wedding vlog i watched a couple of her vlogs her main thing she does is makeup and her look books y'all if only i could that's all i'm gonna say her look books are like mini music videos like for real like she is the video vixen in her own doggone look book rocky Sorry, y'all. Anywho, like I was saying, she is just positive. Now, she does mention on Snapchat, because I do follow her on Snapchat, she does mention that, you know, she has shade thrown at her and how she deals with it. Now, I have to say she deals with it like a champ. First of all, the girl got over 2 million subscribers, okay? Like, that that's like a perfect example of how you cannot feed into negativity you got over two million subscribers do you really have time to go back and forth with a certain percentage of them that may not like you or may find some beef with you what i love about her i love that she loves her husband she loves her dogs she loves her fur babies okay she loves to travel and guess what she takes us with her I like that. She's positive. She's not a catty woman. She doesn't come off to me like that at all. And I really feel like me and her could be friends. You feel me? Next on my list is Tierra Monet. Huh? Okay. What time is it? Oh, I need to hurry up, y'all, because Empire is about to come on. Mr. Long just left to go pick Jasmine up from the bus station, okay? So like i said with tiara monet is a new yorker and i have been following her since i got introduced to youtube through jasmine okay and i loved like her, her well i do i love her swag i like the fact that she is a thick girl and she ain't trying to be no skinny mini okay she embraces her curves she embraces her brown skin she is beautiful but beyond her beauty and her swag y'all she is like the ish okay she is like a serious entrepreneur she is about her business you know she opened her a salon in new york she has her own hairline and when i tell you if you need a bomb ass weave you need to check your girl out because honey if i had some how to grip i would love 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 to have my hair done by her and i would love to actually have like one of her actual like hair units because like she does the 360 lace front y'all know days like if Steph wanted a bun i could like literally have one you know bang bun, bun ponytail you know action something like that but the girl is fly okay and she had some some drama but it wasn't a lot of drama because like that's not what she put out on her channel her and her boyfriend broke up her old boyfriend i think his name was joe okay they broke up and guess what she moved on honey she moved on she got her new man she happy she got her little her little dog i forget his name i can't think of it right now i'm a little black little i think he's a pomeranian i think he is he's so cute oh my gosh but i love her positivity i love the relationship that her and her mom have her mom is definitely her ride or die chick and very supportive to name a few more that i actually watch miss rosh posh i love her she beats a face and she is the one that i actually finally got the concept of highlighting and contouring was through her makeup tutorial so shout out to miss raj posh and on top of that y'all honey she looks good okay she had her her weight loss journey and y'all 
she's fabulous okay um who else that i like far as people that jasmine has introduced me to and like i have grown to be attached to their channels as well shameless maya and i just love everything that shameless maya stands for she's positive she's deep she's spiritual uh she believes in the the question why am i doing this is it is this worthy of my time of you know my effort and i just like that about her i like the fact that she shares youtube secrets on how to film on you know how to edit uh videos and you know how just like all the tech talking y'all she has a series so if you guys are a new youtuber and you're wanting some tips on how to become like really good at what you do here on YouTube, y'all be sure to check out Shameless Maya because she's all that. And I just love her spirit. She's very calming. She has a little dog too. And her little dog, Jackie, child please. Jackie is the fly. Jackie need to hook up with Rocky, okay? Oh, he leaves the room. He says there's only one woman for him. That's Jasmine, okay? Anywho, who else? I love Miss Oh So Fabulous. I love, love, love her. I love her spirit. I love, she's funny. She, her, my, some of my favorite videos from her has always been her car vlogs. Cause honey, she tells some stories in the car. Honey, she will have you lit, okay? Another person that I was interested, um, that I was introduced to by Jazz was Raven Elise. Now, one point, on my channel i did throw some shade at raven elise at one time and this was probably sometime this around this time last year when real housewives of atlanta had debuted and kim fields was on there and just so happened i don't know i don't know how raven elise's name came up yet i did i admit throw a little shade at her but i'm gonna tell you my feelings and the way i see raven elise has changed and it's changed in this sense since raven elise had a baby raven seems happier raven seems content raven seems to be a woman that's on her ish and you know what her she used to preach about her glow up and you know her having her own this and her own that but you know what now she has someone to love her all on her own and she can be selfish with that because that's her baby and as a mother that's the one thing that, you know, we are, well, not all, I can't say all, but for the most part, most of us are blessed with the gift of unconditional love. And I just really think that I just see Raven in such a more positive light since she has become a mother. And I just think baby Zaya, she was a blessing from God for her because Zaya has definitely grounded her, humbled her, and... I just can see that she would do anything when it comes to doing stuff for her child. So shout out to you, Raven Elise. Next, uh, Keisha Anderson. I was introduced to Jasmine about her and I think she's funny. Uh, Gla Glamazante and also, uh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Cosmoholic Anonymous, I think. If I'm messing up your name, girl, do not beat me up, okay? But I got introduced to her by Jazz and one of my favorite YouTubers that I'm actually friends with is Nikki J Beauty. Now, let me just sit here on Nikki J for just a few seconds. Nikki J is funny as hell, y'all. Me and Nikki became friends sometime around this time last year. And we started talking on the phone and like, I have just adopted her as like she's one of my little sisters she calls me we talk about things that are pretty deep and so like i said when it comes to developing relationships and friendships with people you got to be careful about who you talk to when it comes to your personal life because you don't need somebody else putting your ish out here talking about they exposing you you feel me no that's not cool and that's not a great way to build a friendship or a relationship period okay so nikki is always talking about she is in a better place now and y'all she has she has grown so much over this past year and she just says she's a changed woman now it creep out of her sometimes because honey she is lethal with her mouth okay lethal though she will cut you okay and she ain't afraid to fight she's a little tiny something but she is not afraid to fight you okay yet i have a great relationship with her and there are some others 
And I ain't, when I say others, y'all, don't think I'm talking about a whole lot. Because it's probably like one other that I have befriended. And yet, I just wish she would reach out and call me. Just because some of the things that I see personally going on in her life, you know, a lot of things can easily be fixed. And literally, sometimes it's what you put out. It's your content that you put out. And it's how you put it out. So, that's all I'm going to say on that note. And if she's watching... She know who she is. Love you, girl. Yet, if you would just pick up the phone, you'd be surprised. Just call Steph. Call her. And she'll help you clean up your mess. Oh, that sounded good. Okay, okay. Anywho, y'all, I am about to get ghosts. Yet, I did want to come back and share that with y'all. Today is the last day of November. So, my last thing that I want to say to you guys that I am thankful for is actually two things. The first is I am thankful that I am YouTube drama free. Okay? I don't have drama in my life. Thank God for that. And uh, I don't invite it in my life. You can come. At my door, and your ass to be standing at the door, okay? Because remember, 70 don't allow people to come over house uninvited. And so clearly, drama is uninvited, all right? And another thing that I'm thankful for is you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for sharing me. I pray that you guys continue to share me. I pray that you guys are looking forward to what's to come in the year 2017 because I am. And right now, I'm just like I said, I am revamping my channel, my website. I'm revamping me. And I fell off, y'all, with the gym stuff. I'm going to get back on track on that. This job, y'all, this job. This is job. And I have already, like, put it out there that come January, I'm cutting back. I'm sorry, but it's just not that serious to me. Clearly, y'all probably have already figured that out already. It's just, it's not that serious. So, on that note, those are the things that I'm thankful for on this last day of November. And you guys can stay tuned because your girl is about to start Vlogmas tomorrow. So, y'all tell me this. Give me a cute name that y'all think that I can use for Vlogmas instead of Vlogmas. Remember how we came up with something for the month of September and we came up with September? Yes. What do you guys think we can call Vlogmas? Because... That's what I want to name it. Whatever you guys help me come up with by tomorrow night when that first video drops. Whoever has the most creative name between now and then, that's what I'm going to just roll with, okay? Now make sure it's cute, y'all, and make sure, you know, it represents me. You click me stuff. Stephanie, you feel me? So, I will see you guys same time, same place. Just tomorrow is, it's Stop the holidays. Happy holidays. Woo! I'll see y'all tomorrow, right? Y'all have a good night. Peace out.